Welcome to the Immortal Cast, a show where we read and review the legendary Harry Potter fanfiction, My Immortal, exactly as written and completely blind. This is a spin-off to our main fanfiction show we've been doing for about five years now, Crossing the Line. So if you like this show, you can find more of us there. And thanks for listening. Enjoy. Welcome to today's episode of the Immortal Cast. This time we're reading chapters 13 through 15. Let's do a quick recap of last time. Before I start that, my name is Eli Viva Vlogs, and I have here G Pool George. Hello. And Stephen Bluebreed. Hello. Okay, so in chapter 10, again, we're reading these totally blind, so I'm just going to do a quick recap of the previous chapter. If you'd like to see everything this story has to offer, you can go back to our previous episodes here on YouTube or Spotify. <coughs> They're all over the place, so get looking. In chapter 10, well, actually, in the previous <laughs> chapter that, to the leads in the chapter 10, Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way was offered a gun by Voldemort to kill Harry Potter, who goes by Vampire. That did happen. That was sweet. Uh, a gun. If she refuses, Voldemort will kill Draco, her love. Um, she said no and ran back to play with her band because she was depressed, which is the start of every chapter, it seems. Her band is described as a cross between uh, MCR and Slipknot, mainly, which is quite a wild combo. Also, Hagrid is in her band, if I remember correctly, and he is just a kid. He's just a goth kid, <laughs> Satanist. Meanwhile, Harry's being a vampire fanatic. Yeah, Harry goes by vampire, but Ebony, our main character, is actually a vampire, which makes him kind of a poser. Which is what you'd think she would hate, but she in fact digs on him really hard. Yeah. Yeah. But not as much as Draco. No, well, we'll see. After they play band practice, she tells her best friend, B. Luddy Fangs, about the Voldemort deal, and Draco overhears and is so mad that she didn't tell him that he runs away and commits self death. Uh, and this makes Ebony sad in chapter 11, like I said, it's how every chapter begins. She goes to cut her wrists and then goes to take a bath to wipe the blood off her body. And while she's taking a bath, Snape and Lupin are outside on their broomsticks jacking off and filming it with a camera. And Ebony is, calls them perverts and shoots them with a gun that Voldemort gave her. <laughs> and <laughs> they fall to the ground. Uh, their camera is not broken. Lupin holds up triumphantly. And then Dumbledore <laughs> takes it away for himself and fires them from the school. They're sent to another school. <laughs> It is a very comical thing, despite the intensity of it all. Also, Hagrid comes out during this chaos and confesses his love. Yeah, he's in the band too, by the way. Yeah, he uh, he likes her, but she doesn't like him. Even though he hasn't really been described visually yet, so we just assume he's not also super hot. <laughs> we just assume he's a grown fucking man in the <laughs> band of teenagers. Yeah. He says he's a student, but I don't know if the author just thinks that Hagrid is a student <laughs> in the story or what. He just, he just gets to live there. He's just called the groundskeeper, but he's also a student. Groundskeeper's kind of cool slang name, to be honest. True, true. Yeah. If they called me groundskeeper back in my own stomping yard, I'd be down. Same. Chapter 12 doesn't have very much happen. It's mostly just Harry and her flirting, and they kind of start to bang, but then the teacher... McGonagall stops him. And in the middle of class, his cock's halfway in her, and she's like, Hey! You cut that out. Also, Harry's scar hurts, which she's like... <laughs> she's like, Harry, I thought you didn't have a scar. And he, like, wipes the makeup off his forehead to remove this the makeup. And it, he has a pentagram now instead of a scar. He said somebody turned it... I think it might have been Draco turned that into a pentagram for him. He would never. Draco's a good boy. In <laughs> Maybe it was Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, keep cutting. <laughs> I want the full pentagram. <laughs> He's like using his wand like a fucking laser. Yeah, laser engraving his forehead. <laughs> ah! Harry's like Harry's biting on his own wand like a wooden spoon. Mm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Harry's so fucking cool. <laughs> Harry's scar hurts because he had a vision that Voldemort had Draco held captive. Draco's not dead. He's held captive by Voldemort. Also, Hagrid was crushing on her again in that chapter, but to no avail. 
Hagrid Hagrid said a flirt, but she didn't acknowledge it. He brought her roses, and she said, I don't want these. They're gross. They're roses. And he said, no, watch this, and then sets them on fire, and then says some MCR lyrics, and she's like, okay, that was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chapter 13 opens with all caps. Special fangs to Raven, my gothic's blood sister. What the F you supposed to do it? Do write this. Hey, Raven, do you know where my sweater is? Chapter 13. Okay. Author's note. Raven fangs for a galpin. Why me is there again. another author's <laughs> note? <laughs> no. <laughs> Raven fangs for helping me again. I'm sorry I took your posts er, of Gerard, but that guy is such a fucking sex bomb. <laughs> sex bomb is spelled S E X B O M. True. Prep stop flaming. <laughs> As usual. X six X X X X X X X X X X X X. The vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. That's Harry, by the way. We were so scared. Dumbledore! Dumbledore! Dumbledore came there. What the fuck? What is it that you want now, you despicable snobs? He asked angrily. Oh my god. I'm immediately enthralled by the story once more. I've been flamed. Volsamort has Draco! We shouted at the same time. Volsamort. Volsamort has Draco! Who? He laughed in an evil voice. Ha 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 ha! No, don't! We need to save Draco! We begged. No, he said meanly. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? He's your student. <laughs> Dumbledore is a fucking bitch in this world. I don't give a darn what Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he's misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony, he said while he frowned looking at me. Besides, I never liked him that much anyway. Then he walked away. Vampire started his, to cry. His dad's gonna hear about this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not from Vol not from Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my son Draco? I don't know. <laughs> I don't goth, like him. <laughs> I think this goth bitch talked him into something he shouldn't have. She just laughs at him. <laughs> we tried to stop her, but <laughs> <laughs> not very hard. <laughs> I'll admit. <laughs> I'll admit I could have done more, <laughs> but it was her fault. <laughs> she stopped me. My Draco! Harry moaned. Author's note. Don't you fic gay guys are like so hot? Fink? Yeah. Fink? Like think, but. It's just F I K, but I think it meant oh. to be Fink. Yeah, like the rat. It's okay, I tried to tell him, but that didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. Then he had a brainstorm. <laughs> Brain blast. What? <laughs> <laughs> and he had a brainstorm. I had an idea! He exclaimed. <laughs> What? I asked him. <laughs> You'll see, he said. He no, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> he took out his wand and did a spell. Then, dot, 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 dot. Suddenly, we were in Baltimore's lair. We ran with, in with our wands out just as we heard a croon voice say, I don't care. <laughs> it was Voldemort. Voldemort <laughs> oh oh killing cursed Harry on sight. <laughs> A vampire! No! I have an idea! <laughs> <laughs> Harry fucking kills himself instantly! No! no Harry! That's not what you're supposed to do! Fuck. <laughs> he no, teleports himself one. to his enemy's lair. <laughs> he didn't think he would. How does he know where he lives? <laughs> they know where each other live. It's just like. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that for obvious reasons. <laughs> Harry just found out. Uh, he, who, he whose address must never be visited. But his address is the following. <laughs> Chapter 14. Author's note. Fuck off, preps! Okay? Raven, thanks for helping again. I'm sorry I, I couldn't update, but I was de depressed and I had to go to the hospital because I slit my wrists. Sorry. P.S. I'm not updating till you give me ten good revows. Oh my god. <laughs> her author's notes are always exceptionally hard to read. Because <laughs> she's talking like her true self. Yeah. It's right. not professional mode. 
I like that Harry used a what is it fucking Avada Kedavra, but it was sure spelled wrong. No, nah, it was like Avada. <laughs> he used Avadakus Doxicus and found Voldemort. <laughs> <I> like, <laughs> you can tell she's only seen the movies and not read the books. X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X. Warning, all caps. Some of this chapter is extremely scray. Viewer exertion advised. It took me like three seconds to figure out what scray meant. (laughs) Extremely scray. (laughs) Oh, scary. I I remember that. That's hilarious. She said, Viewer excretion advised. (laughs) Excretion? Yeah, it's spelled right. (laughs) Awesome. Beautiful. The stories that leave out the author's notes miss so much. <laughs> it's part of a world building. We can really feel like what it's like to be inside of her head. We ran to where Volcamort was. It she turned out... She spelling his name wrong. <laughs> He's a main character. You'd think she'd just look it up. <laughs> it turned out that Voldemort wasn't there. Instead, the fat guy who killed Cedric was. Draco was there crying tears of blood. Snake Tail was torturing him. Vampire and I ran in front of Snake Tail. Rid my sight, you despicable preps! You cried just because you saw a man? <laughs> uh, Draco was there crying. Oh. He's being tortured. Oh. Mm. Okay. He shouted as we started shooting him with a g- <laughs> gun. Oh, no! <laughs> right, the gun. <laughs> <laughs> he then suddenly looked at me and he fell down with a lovey dovey look in his eye. <laughs> the next line is all one word it's all one uh, word it's I'm, not, I'm already like so confused this stuff so so they teleported in they saw the snake man who was bullying Draco by shooting killing curses around him like he's on a dartboard oh, I guess so <laughs> and then but then they came out blasting with the ultimate killing curse and then Draco got lovey dovey no, the guy who got shot. He got hard eyes? The, yeah, Snake too. Why? <laughs> Go on. Um, he then suddenly looked at me and he fell down with a lovey-dovey look in his eyes. And this is all one word. Ebony, I love you. Will you have sex with me? He said. It's Ebony, I love you. Will you have sex with me? He said. And then in parentheses. Yes. In this, he is 16 years old, so he's not a pedophile, okay? Huh? Okay. I asked. Ebony, I love you. Will you have sex with me? Asked Snake Tail. Or, Ebony, I love you. Will you have sex with me? Asked Snake Thank Tail. You. I started <laughs> laughing crudely. <laughs> what the fuck? You torture my BF and then you expect me to fuck you? God, you are so fucked up, you fucking bastard. I said angrily. <laughs> fucking bastard. Then I stabbed him in the heart. Blood poured out of it like a fountain. They call him Snake Tail instead of Worm Tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate Wormtail. No, yeah, it's Peter Pettigrew. Yeah. Uh, oh, the fucking rat man. Will you please have sex with me? <laughs> but it's it's okay because he's sixteen and not a pedophile. It's fucking nasty in any ages. <laughs> 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 fucking gross ass. I guess Snake Tail is probably his goth name. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As as blood poured out of his heart like a fountain. No! He screamed. He started screaming and running around. Then he fell down and died. <laughs> cool. I just threw a whole fucking clip into him. He gets up, runs around, then finally dies. I burst into tears sadly. Snake tail, what are you. Or, Snake tail, what art thou doing? called Voldemort. Then he started coming. We could hear ah! his high heels oh. clacking to us. His high heels. <laughs> he's he's like, coming. He's in his gamer cave in like a fucking purple light. He hears a bunch of gunshots. And he's like, what is that? This his door is closed. And you see the purple light flashing from underneath. <laughs> Comes in with headphones around his neck. <laughs> his little G fuel shaker in one hand. Uh, <laughs> he's still wearing fucking high heels. Holding his big Xbox controller. He's wearing his femboy high thighs. <laughs> oh, there okay. we go. He started coming. We could hear his high heels clacking to us. So we got on our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. Just teleport again. That's how you got here. I guess 
I guess uh, maybe they can't take Draco for some reason. Maybe. We went to my room. Vampire went away. There I started crying. What's wrong, honey? Asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could screw. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> he just got back from torture hell. Not even gonna talk about it? He's so bent up. Yeah. I need to come. <laughs> he hasn't come in like two days. <laughs> He's blown up. <laughs> he had a sex pack in parentheses. Get it? Because he's so sexy. Mm-hmm. And a really huge you know what and everything. They already said that. <laughs> just reminding you. <laughs> it's so unfair. I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls and preps here except for be Bloody Mary because she's not ugly or anything? Or a prep. But you didn't have to include her. Whatever. <laughs> Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like the preps anyway. They are such fucking sluts, answered Draco. I don't like the ugly girls. Don't be ugly or I won't <laughs> like you anymore. Please don't. Don't be ugly. Yeah, but everyone is in love with me. Like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. <laughs> Draco's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> They did this while I was kidnapped? Draco. What did Dumbledore have to say? <laughs> Dumbledore took the tape back to his room. And <laughs> like, what? Draco finally prizes his, eye, his eyes off of her chest for a minute. <laughs> He's got his mouth agape, eyes glazed over, looking at her chest. Uh, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Back it up a minute. What would you just say? This is kind of a long paragraph, so I'm going to start over. Yeah, but everyone is in love with me. Like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. Hagrid said he's in love with me. Vampire likes me, and now even Snake Tail's in love with me. He's dead, though. (laughs) Yeah, he's irrelevant. (laughs) I just want to be with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan have made me less beautiful? I shouted angrily. In parentheses, author's note. Don't worry, Envy isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse. I shouted and then I ran away. <laughs> oh, what a but problem. But babe, I, we, were, we were about to... <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> yeah. Come back here. He got naked and everything. It's cock throbbing. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, well. Chapter 15. Woo. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? By the way, you suck from no one. Every time someone flames me, I'm going to slit my wrists. Thanks to Raven for helping. XXXXXXXXXXXX. Please do not flame her. She needs to keep working. (laughs) Ebony! Ebony! shouted Draco sadly. No, please come back. But I was too mad. Chasing after his pants at his ankles. <laughs> Modeling. <laughs> this is like the third time we made that joke. <laughs> he keeps doing it. <laughs> He's caught up in the moment. His fucking tidy whities <laughs> <laughs> His tidy whities at his dad bottom. Whatever. Now you can go and have sex with vampire, I shouted. I stormed into my room and closed my black door with my blood red key. It had a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. He looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of Draco and Vampire. I started to cry and weep. I took a razor and started to slit my wrists. I drank the blood all depressed. Then I looked at my black GC watch and noticed it was time to go to biology class. She's recycling. She's got a GameCube watch. Mm -hmm. She's got a Marilyn Manson key. (laughs) So weird. (laughs) How do you, like, get a key like that? (laughs) I hate how she gets mad at everyone else that's, like, looking out for her. She's a bitch. We haven't described her outfit in a while, so thankfully we've got another one of those. Woo! (laughs) I put on a short, ripped, black, gothic dress that said Anarchy on the front in blood-red letters and was all ripped in a spiky belt. Under that, I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them with blood-red letters. I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway... I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Okay. I guess it's like a spell. 
turning a black pentagram into a guitar. <laughs> she like made a pentagram out of blood and then summoned a guitar. Fucking alchemy. Advanced biology. <laughs> Suddenly the That's guitar. That's not biology. Hold on. <laughs> Suddenly the guitar turned to Draco. That's biology, man. How big is Pop? Enemy, I, I love you, he shouted sadly. I, I do not care what those fucker preps and posers think. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> she didn't give him all of his brain cells. <laughs> he's talking evolving. like an author's note. I love you. <laughs> he's devolving into Wormtail. Yeah, he's made out of guitar blood. <laughs> <laughs> Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. Now I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. Now I just want to fuck you. Now I just want to kill myself sometimes when you don't want to fuck. <laughs> Which is right now, actually. <laughs> Then, dot, 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 he started to sing. The Chronicles of Life and Death. <laughs> we considered it our song now because we fell in love when Joel was singing it. Right in front of my entire class. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy like a cross between Gerard, Joel, Chester, Pierre, and Marilyn Manson. Someone breaking out in song for you in front of the whole <laughs> class is the cringiest thing you can fucking do. You it's so a, romantic. You put a burden on the world around you. <laughs> Author's note, don't you think those guys are so hot? If you don't know who they are, get the fuck out of here. Steven? Uh, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, uh... I mean, I know Joel and Marilyn Manson. And Gerard is the My Chemical Romance guy. Oh, okay. I think Gerard Pierre is pretty funny, and <laughs> I don't know who is, though. Yeah. Mm. OMFG, I said after he was finished. Some fucking prep stared at us, but I just stuck up my middle fingers that were covered in black nail polish and were entwined with Draco's now. At them. I love you, I said, and then we started to kiss just like Hilary Duff, in quotes, I fucking hate that bitch, and CMM in the Cinderella story. Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping. I thought Lupin got fired! He got over his transfer. <laughs> Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping by how sexy we looked together. Do you think she summoned Draco with clothes on or no? <laughs> Obviously not. Yeah. What? What's happening? <laughs> Wait! Then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a concert in Hogsmeade right then. In Lupin's class? <laughs> <laughs> Lupin loves MCR. <laughs> Lupin was there. He saw, he saw the sparks fly. It's on the announcement board. We looked at each other all shocked, and then we went together. I want to see her open that fucking trunk that makes you face your greatest fear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't! She's gone through enough! I want to know what she'd see. She's going to see fucking Dumbledore. She'd see Draco with a small wiener. <laughs> Draco would see her with, with like Barbie doll features. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I don't know. We know from the lore that Harry used to be a prep, and uh, Draco used to date. Dra Draco used to date Harry, so mm -hmm. Draco could have dated a prep. True, true. See, see episode one for that lore. Was that the end of the chapter? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's oh. it. Oh, still confused on the on how Draco's existing. <laughs> if he is a bioengineer <laughs> abomination or if it's actually draco and she like summoned him here <laughs> but outfit. we'll figure out in the next episode we've got the uh the tortured draco <laughs> punished draco venom <laughs> draco and then we have a uh, summoned draco now we've yeah. got naked draco <laughs> <laughs> Summoned perfect naked Draco. I trib I tribute a I tribute my blood to have the summon Draco to the field. <laughs> I tribute summon this pentagram and this guitar to summon my boyfriend Draco Malfoy in attack mode. <laughs> now we don't know if Snape is also fired or if he's back too. Oh you those gag characters you know that'll be hanging around. You think Hagrid will like really embarrassingly try to dance with uh with Ebony at the yeah, and MCR Draco's concert. gonna push him over. <laughs> <laughs> gonna push the fat kid over and get mad. Draco's gonna look up to a man twice his height and shove him really hard. <laughs> but Hagrid's gonna be so weak emotionally, he's not gonna be able to fight back. Yeah, true. Stephen, what do you think of the story? 
I think it was very, uh, very erratic this time around. Like, so much happened, but at the same time, so little happened. Yeah, they went and, re- <laughs> they went and told Dumbledore the news. Dumbledore laughed in their face, so they went to go <laughs> rescue Draco. They rescued Draco. They killed uh, a Wormtail. Uh, they were going to have sex, but then they didn't, and then Draco sang a song when he was summoned by blood. They unloaded, they told Wormtail to hold a book to his chest and unloaded with a desert eagle. God, it would and be left. so funny if there was a desert eagle. <laughs> Voldemort why? gave her such a powerful revolver. Voldemort gave her so much ammo. Yeah. She's, he's like, uh, how much do you think you'll need? <laughs> he's like... Uh, I'm, I'm, well, well, Draco is pretty tough. I'm not have a very good his, shot. Have you seen his sex pack? He's like, you mean six pack? Mm-mm. <laughs> He's like, uh, okay. Voldemort's gonna summon another worm tail. We've established they can do that. Voldemort pulls a couple handfuls of ammo out of his pocket. And he's like, you think this will be enough? <laughs> and she's like, mm-mm. Shakes her head. <laughs> Some bullets out of his fucking fanny pack. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> get some shells. But you, you better be serious about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what caliber rifle this is. <laughs> well, I loved it. I can't wait to read some more. Me too. Mm-hmm. I have to see you next time. Join us next Mortal time. Cast. Good night. Good night. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Immortal Cast. If you like what we do and are looking for similar content, this is a spinoff of our main show, Crossing the Line. There, we've been reading, writing, and reviewing fanfiction for over five years, so if you love funny fanfiction and just weird crossover stuff like this, you can find us there on YouTube and Spotify by searching Crossing the Line, a fanfiction podcast.